Hello, my name is Ankan Roy Burton and uh, welcome to the project for image processing and computer vision for 2013 semester. The project topic is correlation coefficient maximization in image alignment problem using image registration. Now we see these two important terms image alignment and image registration. The idea is image registration phenomenon is a widely used phenomenon or technique which is used in image processing for solving the problems of image alignment. We see in the project further that what, uh, what is the problem statement and how do we deal with it. This is the outline of the project. First we define the what image registration technique is. Second we have a problem statement which is which starts from an image being transformed into some other some other type of image and then we have to get back the original image using the image registration and back and bilinear transformation now we we come up with uh, two of the important parameters or two of the important terms which are called the objective function and parameter estimation basically objective function is a function which depends on a parameter this parameter is a vector basically and this parameter is important because we have a transformation from a reference image to a warped image or a transformed image so this mapping is depending solely upon this parameter vector p so if we have this p we have a function in this p which is basically non-linear in p that is termed as objective function because it is the objective of our problem and we have to solve it and how this is how we estimate the parameter vector p now the iteration technique which we use for solving this non-linear function is called forward addition iteration and this is basically used for backward warping there are a lot of uh, processes that has been iteration techniques that has been devised for solving this image alignment problem but for our project we have been discussing uh, and we have implemented the code for image uh, alignment using the forward addition iteration and lastly we will go through the project code demonstration we will see how the MATLAB code has been implemented now what is image registration image re registration is basically uh, is, is a process of transforming different sets of data into one coordinate system what it means is if we have a template image and we have a transformed image we will have some sort of mapping between the template image and the transformed image and this mapping should be parameterized which means that it depend on, it should depend on a parameter and if we get the parameter exactly or very close enough we can use bilinear transformation to get back the template image or the original image from the transformed image now why it is useful for example you take a photograph of uh, the same object from different camera angle and a different light exposure you see by the naked eyes that the object is exactly same but when you put in this uh, put in the uh, snapshots into a computer and try to fuse them or try to have uh, the difference in them you will find a mismatch you will find a mismatch this mismatch uh, is basically because the computer doesn't see these two images as same so what is our object our object is to minimize this mismatch as much as possible and this image registration is widely used in medical imaging for example PET and CG scan etc now what is image registration we uh, let me show you for example this is an image called reference image you have an image which you call the reference image for our simplicity sake suppose we have another image which is rotated by certain angle theta but the dimensions are exactly same um, just the port, the image is rotated this can be called as warped image this this could be rotation this could be deformation in another, another format or anything of the sort 
we the image registration technique says that every point in the reference image should map to a certain point in the warped image for example this point correspond to this point this point correspond to this point this point maps to this point and this point maps to this point not only this four but any of the point should map to a specific point in the warped image so this mapping is depending on a parameter called p now p vector is um, is defined by iterations because of the fact that when we try to do an image registration between these two images the objective function that we get is a non linear function in p so for solving the non linear function we have to implement iteration and if we get a close enough solution of p and we have the warped image vector we can use the bilinear transformation to get back the original image now um, the problem is fairly simple as you see um, we have the four types of transformation that we have considered for our project uh, we disalign our input image by using these four transformation now forming a region of inter, uh, interest is important because you see that if you take the entire image and then make a transformation and then optimize the parameters for the entire image it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of cpu amount of use, cpu usage cpu resources so we don't want to do, do that we have a image we have a image uh, where we want to define a specific portion of the image that we can implement the image alignment and image registration upon so this ROI is the area where we will be backward warping and then matching it with the template image and seeing that is it close enough to the template image or not. And this as I said the backward warping is only possible by estimating the parameters of the transformation and uh, the algorithm is termed as forward addition. Now these are the four types of transformation uh, as we have seen. The first one is the affine transformation. The transformation, as you see, this is pretty much uh, sim similar to this one. Only is the fact that if one point is fixed, this point, this point is, if it is fixed, the other two points are stretched. So it means that the this sort of deformation is is, diff is pretty much different from translation. Translation has nothing but you have a pixel, you shift the pixel in the x direction or y direction, and then uh, the deformation which is happening is called the translation. Euclidean is an example of like uh, projection or it is an example of rotation and homography as you see is a mixture of all sorts of transformation. This is a pretty important uh, transformation because it takes um, larger amount of time for uh, for the convergence of the algorithm and uh, as, as, as we will discuss in the later part or we will be discussing in the uh, when we walk through the code, the p should be initialized with some value depending on the type of transformation we take. Now, the p which we are using should be um, should be specifically very we should be specified very cautiously for homography, and it is better that if we have more number of uh, iterations for homography. This has been proved in theory, and uh, you can clearly see that when you run the code. Now, mathematically, if you see, these are the two vectors, the reference and the warped. Okay. Now, the transformation is fairly simple. If you take x, this should be bold. If you take x dash, transforms to um, the x, basically this is the input. It transforms to the uh, warped uh, coordinates by basing on some transformation. Uh, function which is solely depending upon the parameter p. So if we know this parameter p, we can completely specify this transformation and we can apply this trans backward transformation or backward working to each of the point and then we can get the original image from the transformed image. Now objective function is nothing but you take the warped image and you take the reference image, you deduct it. Uh, you make a uh, difference of these two images 
mathematically and then taking the norm square you can take any other power but norm square is pretty useful and then um, as we see mathematically it could be implemented very easily and then computationally it is fairly uh, better it is quite better than taking the one power but it is uh, but as you increase the number of power um, you see that the convergence takes a lot of time but the output is not of that expectation so 2 is good enough so the objective function looks like this you see the i r and i w are small this is because of the fact that when you take a snapshot of the image uh, the image um, generally has some photometric distortion for example you take an image in one camera angle in one light exposure and you take the same image from different light exposure the intensity will be different or the colors will be different uh, in some sense so we want to uh, negate that factor from our assumptions from our mathematics so what we do is we normalize it we first take the mean by expected value we deduct the mean from this make it a zero mean and then normalize it by taking the euclidean norm now gradient and jacobian plays an important role as we see and as we, as if, if you refer to the project paper and the code that gradient and jacobian are used highly uh, when we compute each step in the iteration because uh, when we compute the objective function we further uh, try to mean simplify this function and then find the delta p these are used now delta p this is the most important function or most important equation at every step say j step is supposed to be the optimum value so at the j minus 1 step there should be some value p tilde which when added by a small amount of perturbation like delta p it goes up to pj so our objective is if we have this initialized uh, so we will we can obtain this and on every step we calculate this by using this formula and then add it to the previous step and then get it get the output uh, optimally so this goes on for j, j steps we can define j in uh, user it can be user defined or it can be a hidden trial or can or a separate loop can be defined so the delta p calculation is this depending on lambda lambda can be any of these three uh, the mathematics says that the general form is this one but uh, since we want to since we want to do a forward addition we don't want to take the uh, we would we don't want to take the negative sign of this we don't want to take the negative sign of the denominator so we can use this if we see that the the denominator is negative we could use any of this because ultimately we don't want the delta p to be to be negative now again the backward warping this is an important equation where we have all the values we have delta p we have the gradient of the p and then p tilde uh, which is the previous step and we have the warped image of the previous step and then we add this all to get the new warped image which is based on the new parameter Now usage of image registration technique, we basically use it for comparing two points in both the images which are under consideration. So uh, as has been discussed before, it is basically uh, taking two images and then analyzing both of them point to point basis. So it is widely used in medical imaging like visibility of tumors in MRI scan. You have uh, you take MRI scans and then uh, snapshots of the same human body from different angles and then you can match it and then a single image can be generated which is enriched of the, all the scans image mosaicing which is basically taking into consideration chunks of uh, a single image and then considered into one single image motion detection and pattern detection is the same because uh, when you have a motion you have suppose the human body is in motion the camera takes certain amount of frames per second and these frames are basically different images you can uh, for, you can relate one image to other image by uh, by a smooth transition of, of each point in one image to another image so this correlation or this mapping is basically image registration and finally the image alignment and the reconstruction which is our main topic of this project the references as this as uh, has been used is like this has been presented here and uh, in the next uh, video we will see how the matlab code runs and uh, what are the uh, 
computational complexities and the convergence. Thank you.